Hey Internet, my name is Abby and welcome back to Buzz Orton's Space Program Manager. In the last episode we scheduled the uncrewed rendezvous mission for the Soyo 7K, okay? And before I click uh, on the end button I just want to remi uh, remind you on the fact that the 100th episode of my Let's Play series is coming up and I still have the option available to send in some questions if you want me to do an interview with Ignacio again. And uh, then I need some questions from you. And yeah, if you're interested in having an interview as a celebration episode for the 100th episode, then I do need some questions uh, of you. So if you're interested in this, please send in some questions via the forum thread or via the comment section below or anything else. So yeah, I need some information from you. Otherwise, I'm not able to prepare the uh, interview. And yeah, this would be sad. And now, with this reminder again, I want to do the uncrewed automatic document. I'm looking forward to this and of course we want to follow it from the mission control because it's all about to see the new animations and yeah this is what I want to do and so yeah let's wait for the uh, animations to load in and then we can launch again our Soyuz capsule this time without any crew okay this is taking a while I hope okay now we are ready now we are ready and here yeah, we are standing by with our first uh, mission without oh there's right away a problem and yeah 94.8 percent and failure okay again we are again dealing with a random number quite low and look at this the catastrophic outcomes even below four but still we managed to get a random number of four and this is our uh, this is so typical for this for my let's play series that I am always unlucky with my random numbers. But yeah, we can reschedule this mission right away because here yeah, I want to do this. And yeah, this downgrade is uh, it's not really huge and does not really have an impact on our mission. In this case, let me do this again. I want to go over the three crew ballistic capsules. I want to do. Let me scroll down. The uncrewed automa automatic docking. Let's schedule this mission and start the assembly process with our best candidates and confirm the assignments. Very good. Okay, um, do we have any interplanetary mission we can launch now? Let me just check this. Venera 9. Um, oh, the Venera 9 was the one with the issue and we do not have any new um, patches deployed so in this case we need to wait a little bit with the Venera 9 uh, the Mars 2 is at 74 the Sputnik 2 would be ready to be launched um, let's launch the Sputnik 2 um, I'm still unsure if we do have animations I think we do not have any informa uh, animations yet but still I want to see this so in this case let me add a uh, what is the cheapest one I'm currently... The Proton Rocket. Okay, let's uh, launch this on a Proton Rocket. And this mission involves the launch and insertion in Earth orbit of a modified Sputnik satellite, which carries a biological payload, a dog, sealed inside a hermetic container with a controller environment in order to keep the dog alive. Due to the battery's limitations and the lack of a re-entry capsule, the mission is expected to last one week. After that, the subject is terminated with its last... I do not know. The button is in the way. So yeah, okay, let's assign some flight controllers to this. And okay, you are allowed to do so. And yes, I do know uh, we have some scientists left over. But unfortunately we cannot do anything else because we are almost at the end of all our research. And okay, let's try this again. Let's try again the Suyo uh, 7 k OK launch. I hope this time we are more lucky with our random number generator. And yeah. So the countdown is coming up and it's a success. And yeah, as I said already, this weekend or this time as I'm recording the episodes for this week, we do not have a new patch deployed so yeah there there will be some upcoming animations and yeah un unfortunately they are not finished yet so no new patch right now but yeah we still have enough other animations to watch and to follow and to analyze and in this case it's not so bad for us because we do have enough content to c uh, fill three episodes i hope so in this case okay let's follow the orbit insertion it was a success, very nice, very nice. And now we do have our spacecraft deployment. And the thing is in Earth orbit. Hopefully. 
hopefully. Yeah, it is, it is, it's a success, very nice, very nice. Okay, and now let's launch our second spacecraft. Um, I wonder a little bit, uh, well of course, uh, bringing them back home and returning them uh, with a safe landing is always a, a good procedure to, to make sure that the components are still in good shape and to gain some more experience with the return of uh, Soyuz capsule and so on. But otherwise the, the mission is without any crew member on board, so without any cosmonaut and in this case we just could leave the Soyuz capsules in space. Why do we need to return them after we have docked them? This, this makes no sense. Well, it makes only sense for the purpose of gaining more experience about returning a spacecraft to a designated target area, but uh, here. Okay, anyways, um, let's focus on the orbit insertion of our second spacecraft. It's a success, very nice. So then we do have hopefully our upcoming rendezvous. I think this could be quite interesting. We are in Earth orbit. Okay, it's a success, very nice. Now we have our target approach. Okay, there's our second Soyuz capsule. Docking. This is cool. It's a success. And... Great! Good job, good job. And undocking. Okay, okay. This was nice, this was really nice. Okay, this is, this is just amazing. This was great. Okay, now let's return our Soyuz capsules back home. But yeah, this was nice, this was nice, and I think the next step then is to do the same thing once more, but this time with some cosmonauts on board, so hopefully then our computer will do again uh, a great job and won't harm my, my cosmonauts by colliding the two spacecraft. This would be rather unfortunate. And yeah, we will see, we will see, but right now the landing is a success. And let's recover our spacecraft here, yeah, it's also a success. Very nice, very nice. Okay, a successful mission, good job guys. Good job. And now comes the final test. Okay, this was a nice mission, very well done. With the Sputnik 2, let's launch the thing and follow it from the mission control, because I'm not quite sure if we do have already some animations, or if the thing is coming without animations currently. Um, well, the, the Proton rocket uh, is already... Uh, has already enough animations. This is great, this is really great. But uh, yeah, it's more about the Sputnik 2, so I'm excited to see what is going on. If we are just seeing then uh, placeholder images, or if we do have then the Sputnik 2 satellite. Okay, the launch is a success, the ascent is hopefully also a success. Yes, very good, very good. Spacecraft deployment. The invisible spacecraft is deployed. Okay, it's a success. It's a success. This is amazing. And yes, Earth orbit. Okay, we do not have currently the images or the animation for the um, Sputnik 2, so we need to wait until the animations are implemented to the game. But yeah, we do have a problem. 87.5% problem solved. And this time we do have a random number of 70. 0.54. Amazing, amazing. Okay, it was a successful mission, but I can't close now the uh, mission because of the program, because I need to wait for the implementation of the appropriate animation so that we can see more of the Sputnik 2 satellite in space. And here yeah, we have achieved one goal. Some of my scientists are back from advanced training. This is very nice, but uh, yeah, still I'm missing new animation or new missions because I have already researched I think all the component or yeah all the programs and all the components. So let me just add some of my scientists to advanced training again so that we are not getting all the time the warning that we have scientists left over and in this case here let me see. Let me just assign them to advanced training. Um spacecraft and assigned next page 
assigned assigned available. Um, crewed spacecraft. And human rated rocket. And human rated rocket. Uh, have we? Yeah, all the scientists are sent on advanced training. This is good, this is very good. Now the next thing is um, the recrew ballistic capsules. We want to do the next thing. This is now the crude automatic docking. Uh, let's add some Soyuz boosters to this and schedule this mission. Assemble it now. Uh, this mission involves the launch of two uncrewed spacecrafts. Okay, I think they have the the description is mixed up. The second spacecraft is launched 90 minutes after the first, which allows it to be placed on a similar orbit. Once in position, the second spacecraft uses its maneuvering engine to adjust its orbit and perform rendezvous and station keeping within several meters of the first spacecraft. This maneuver requires a functional Igler automated rendezvous system. Once the two Soyuz are correctly aligned, the crew take over and performs a piloted rendezvous or docking, I guess. Okay, um, let's proceed on, let's proceed on, let's assign our best candidates in the flight controller room, let's assign our best cosmonauts, hopefully they will survive this trip. And yeah, then let's check again, uh, have we reached the threshold for any of the... Okay, the Soyuz 7K L1 is ready to go, and this is amazing. The Mars probe needs some time, Sputnik 2 we have done, the Lunar 15 space probe is also ready to go. I think I will start off with the Lunar 15. So let me do this. Um, lunar probes, um, Lunar 15. And let's add the Proton rocket to this. Wow, we have a lot of goals we can achieve here. And let me assemble this. This mission involves the launch and deployment of a spacecraft which is equipped with instruments capable of extracting samples of the lunar soil and carrying them back to Earth in a, sim in a small capsule for further study. Very nice. Okay, let's proceed on. Let's assign five flight controllers to this. And we are ready to go. Okay, um... Yeah, let me end the season and let me do this. So then we do have also our LK-700 we need to proceed on at some point. Our Mars mission needs some time, Soyuz here, uh, not Soyuz, uh, Sputnik. Uh, we need to wait again for the animations and then we have also the other Soyuz, but I think the, the Soyuz 7, 7-1K, 7-K-1, or I completely forgot the name. Um, I think there we are still missing the animation, so I think this would make no sense to launch this. But maybe I will just do a test launch and see if we do have any animations and if we are just seeing placeholders, then we have to wait until the appropriate animations are implemented to the game. Okay, now we do have our launch with our main capsule, with our main Soyuz spacecraft. Okay, we are ascending up into space again, this is amazing. Uh, success, very nice, very nice. And spacecraft A, orbit insertion. Okay, uh, we ha we should have a lot of experience already with our Soyuz spacecraft because we have launched uh, the Soyuz spacecraft so many times already in our space program. So uh, I should have really started to count how many times I have launched our Soyuz spacecraft because I think this is this is really a lot of times, and especially with the immune configuration and with the with the preparation in Earth orbit, then the flights up to the moon and so on, so I think there are... I did a lot of these missions. Okay, um, countdown. A success, very nice. And the launch. Was a success, amazing, amazing, good job guys, good job. Let's continue on, let's ascend up into space. And here. This is amazing. This is really amazing. And oh, speaking of Sputnik 2 with the uh, with the dock on board. Uh, oh, oh no, we do have a problem. And problem solved. 
random number 83. Very nice, very nice. Uh, with the dog on board. Lately, uh, we had a launch of a photon spacecraft. Um, and yeah, this the spacecraft is also a uh, satellite, basically, but it can also return while well, it's equipped with a heat shield. Oh no, a different problem. Let's see. Problem solved. Oh, the random number is decreasing. This is not good. And here, um... Okay, target approach. Okay, and docking. Ooh, another problem, another problem. Random number 97, not bad. Very good, very good. Undocking, docking and undocking. Okay. This is amazing. This is really amazing. Okay, I was talking about uh, an animal carrying spaceship because here uh, a photon uh, M4 spacecraft was launched uh, in the mid of this month, in the mid of July, of July, and here in this case, um, yeah, they they have also some some animal astronauts on board because they launched some some geckos and they also launched some silkworm eggs and dried plant seeds and so on to to study a little bit more the influence of the microgravity and also a little bit of the cosmic radiation and yeah so so we still are launching animals up into space and and even into only one satellite and not only as a payload for the international space station no no we have really some some research satellites and so yeah this is quite interesting that we have geconauts in in earth orbit currently and yeah, I'm I'm interested and I'm excited to see what are the outcomes of this, because they they want to do our several experiments. Oh no, we do have a problem right away with our launch and problem solved. Okay, good job, good job. So please move on, please move on. And yeah, so on the one hand, I was a gecko, they the scientists planning uh, to to study the um, the behavior or the sexual behavior of the adult echo geckos in our uh, in Earth orbit. So this is this is interesting. This is really an an interesting science and research. So uh, here, let's see what is coming out and what are the results of this experiment in Earth orbit. So uh, and yeah, it was pretty interesting to see that still the thing. Or that still um, animals are sent into space in own spacecraft. So, so yeah. Okay, let's wrap this up. Let's focus more on the uh, mission control on our yeah on the mission control here, and our uh, um, lunar 15 mission. And speaking also of launches, in the last week we had a. Uh, Proton, and uh, no, not a Proton, a uh, Progress launch on a Soyuz capsule to deliver some additional supplies to the International Space Station and also to deliver some fuel to, to keep the thing orbiting uh, in space and problem solved. Good job, guys. Good job. So yeah, a lot of things are going on. This is, this is really amazing and even more launches are scheduled. Surface operation. Let's get a surface sample. Okay, we are already leaving the moon again. And yeah, speaking of the moon, we had also the 45th anniversary of the very first moon landing. This was also quite interesting. Because a lot of uh, videos were released and well, we are linked again with all the footage of the, the flight and the landing and the lunar EVA and so on. So this was this was pretty interesting this this week or the 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 last weeks. And okay, we have now close up pictures of the moon level two. We have lunar soft landing, lunar fifteen sample return, study of lunar soil level three, lunar retrieval sample. Not bad, not bad. Really amazing. And the Sputnik 2 has reached the maximum R&D level. This is great. Now we have even more scientists. We need to 
to assign to advanced training or anything like this uh, to keep them busy otherwise we get all the time the warning that we do have some some scientists who are doing nothing and yeah we can't do anything about this because as i said we have almost researched everything we can research well we can start researching all the different um rockets but i don't think that this would be so much of a use for our space program because we are quite okay with all the rockets we have currently available for our space program and yeah okay so this was a success now let's prepare the launch for or the launches for the next episode because we are unfortunately already at the end of this episode so let me just automated docking with crew transfer this sounds interesting let's add two soyuz boosters to the what uh why okay apparently we need to launch the second mission on a and when and one booster this is interesting this is really interesting because it seems to be too heavy or so okay um yeah let's do this um schedule the mission this mission involves the most ambitious of the program it involves a crewed automatic rendezvous in low earth orbit followed by a piloted docking systems check and extra vehicular crew transfer and undocking Reliable Yestrip EVA suits and Igla automated rendezvous system are required to conduct safely this mission. The two spacecraft then deorbit and land one after another. Okay, let's assemble this. Let's assign our best candidates and also our best cosmonauts. Very nice. Okay, mission is prepared and uh, then I do have 11 flight controls. This is enough to do a Soyuz 7K L1. L1 is the configuration and uncrewed suborbital flight test. I want to see this on a Soyuz booster. Let me schedule this. The description is coming soon. I just want to see if the animations are implemented yet. Okay, so we have scheduled everything and with this we are at the end of today's episode. In this case, thank you so much for watching. Please uh, remember that you can send in some question if you want to or if you want to that I'm doing an interview with Ignatio again for the 100th episode. And yeah, in this case, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Ebi. See you.